Okay, so that's cuffed. Warning you before watching this, viewer discretion is advised, because this is going to be very gross, so I'll just give you a second to click off. So, for everybody that's still watching, um, uh, well, my kind of little cabin, if you can see that, the, hopefully it, the thing's picking it up, but that is all stuff on my ball I made myself. It's actually pretty nice. I wrapped the handle, but it's falling apart, so I don't use it anymore or touch it. But, yeah, so nature's kind of moving in. So lots of water coming in. As you can see on the shelf, nature's kind of moving in. Um, and under the carpet, there's a crap ton of, like, blackened wood and stuff under there. And then also, oh wow, and then I, I didn't even notice this, but there's like white stuff. White, if you can see that, like, there's white stuff just in the corner. Oh, there we go, it focused. Yeah, there's white stuff in the corner. And then on the corner of the cabin, little cabin, um, there's these little mushrooms that just decided to start growing out of the OSB. As you can see, there's one right there that's growing out of the OSB. Oh, pants just snapped. Crap. Yeah, my whole button fell off. Whatever. Um, yeah, just all around. And, yeah, this is my dad's house. This is, like, the place I've been talking about. But anyways, yeah, so I'm finally filming up here. As I said, I would do lots of times. I have actually filmed, but both times my camera decided to turn off. This is my hobo stove. Do I use? Also, there might be some sparrows. They like down in that tree right there. I like that tree right down there. So yeah. So if I see any sparrows, I'll probably go hunt them. But for right now, I guess I'm just gonna. So yeah, that cabin has some pretty big problems. Even though it's little. Um. Uh, but yeah, that's my hobo stove. I got my cold steel blowgun. I've been finding darts all over. From when it snowed and I lost tons of darts. In like the in places. And then I got my cold steel blowgun. Which I had done a review on. You could probably go check that out. I think I'll put. Um. Uh, the link in the description below. I think I know how to do that. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I'll try to put the link in the description below. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I just, I just want to kind of so how I said I had never filmed up here. I just want to kind of do that. And I just want to kind of show you guys what was happening inside this little place. Um, there's my tanning rack, where, like, straps, squirrel hides up, and I skin them off. But, and then there's where I shot that bird that last time. I have a picture. I might, I might, um, do something with that. I might somehow try to find out how to add, like, a picture into the video. Um, of my arrow. It's actually been two weeks old, so the picture, if I do up add it into the video somehow it will look pretty it'll look almost like rust on the arrow but it won't be because I shot it right up there and it fell on the tree it started squealing but my camera had actually died the previous day and I had no charger this time I've remembered to b bring a charger so that shouldn't be a problem we're actually going up to my dad's cabin um tomorrow <coughs> so yeah I'll probably just talk right now. So if you're not really into me like talking or anything, don't like the sound of my voice, I kinda understand. Um, but I'm just gonna talk about like new new things. Like I um I bought like a fifty pack of stun darts from my local sportsman's warehouse. Along with my fifty at, um from that I bought off Bellas.com for like seventeen dollars. But yeah, 
and um yeah but it's it's really wet in there as you could probably you can probably tell that black line and there's lots of bugs that like to go in there and stuff i'm surprised i haven't had a like a mouse or anything in there because that's a perfect place because i don't use it for like him probably like three months of the whole year for like winter i don't use it and for fall i sometimes go in there and stuff but in the winter i don't use it i don't sleep in it in summer i do though because it's warm or if it gets a little cold like on fall i will sometimes oh, crap my fingers are getting a little sooty if you can see that um but yeah so i just kind of want to talk about some of the stuff. Also, I'm going to share a bird. But yeah, also in my videos, if I hit anything with my slingshot or um, with my blowgun, I'll probably use super slow on the app store to edit that so that it's slow and, you, and it's kind of slowed down so you can see when I hit it and stuff. I'm looking forward to that. I only have two subscribers right now, but I'm going to shout out one of them to my best friend. He's been in a couple of my videos, and he actually subscribed to me on YouTube. So I just want to do a shout out to him. And then I have another subscriber. I'm not sure who that is, but um, I'll probably find out. I don't know how to find out um, who's your who, who subscribed to you, but if you know... Can you please leave it in the description below? <coughs> so, yeah. Also, I just kind of wanted to show you how, like, my cabin was. My little cabin, you guys have probably never seen it before. But I built it, like, a year ago. Well, uh, with the help of my dad. And kind of built it. So yeah, but also, I think I forgot to mention that there's also stuff on this. But I might actually do a hunting episode. Um, I might have to go charge my phone because it's half battery life. But yeah, if I if I see any birds or anything, I'll probably have my iPhone with me and I'll probably start filming. Cause yeah. Um, but, I, I just try and just kind of show you guys that. Um, but I guess I'll, um, see you guys in the next video. Bye.